guys, let's eat. Dr. Wendy Dearborn in the house. It's been a minute and I truly know it's been a minute since I have been up in it. But guys, I'm back and I have something really good and well, at least I think so, exciting news for you. On, it, on the laws of attraction in action, I have decided at long last, I've been promising to do this, at long last to start cooking for the chakras to start cooking for the energy vortexes within the body. And that's cooking, eating, enjoying, so you're able to balance and align your body energetically with food. Now, many people don't actually realize how important food is. Food is more than just keeping body and soul together, which is where it has been relegated to, to just keeping body and soul together. What people don't realize that in order for you to um, be able to manifest what you want in life, food and the energy and the frequency and the colors and everything plays an integral part in that process. And so in the spring of 2018, we, that's me and my cameraman, we're gonna be starting a series that is, I'm gonna say a lifelong series about food and how it impacts your body and the different chakras, what you can eat, what you can do, even the shape. You, there's sacred geometry in food. People don't even realize this, or the majority of people don't realize this. Food is an integral part of your energetic field. It also impacts your ability to manifest what you want. So anyway, that being said, that's coming in 2018. You'll be able to check it out. I'll be giving the, the bird, the what do you call it? The crumbs, t -t 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 -t, dropping the crumbs all the way along so that you can stay informed. You can sign up. You can be a part of this and utilize food to its fullest extent. I mean, and just let me say this. Food isn't only about healing and repairing the cells, re healing and repairing damage. Food goes beyond that. So that being said, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to be just making, I'm going back to basics today. I'm just going to be making a green smoothie. This, I decided to do this on the fly today. And so I decided, hey, look, let me start with this. I'm going to throw this out there. Or should I say, put this out there. And so I'm going back to basics. For all of you who know me, I wrote a book a couple of years ago, about three years ago. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, green is for life, a simple guide to creating healthy, life-giving green smoothies. And so guys, um, you can check that out. You can get that on, on Amazon. It actually gives you the nuts and bolts of making a smoothie. It's not one of these books that give you a thousand recipes. It gives you the nuts and bolts and the understanding of what's required in my opinion, which is an expert opinion, on making green smoothies for your health. So let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a basic green smoothie today and I wanna show you what I have on my cutting board. And as I said to you guys, this was really on the fly. So I'm gonna make my own nut milk. It's not imperative that you make your own nut milk, but I'm gonna make my own nut milk. And today we're gonna have cashew nuts. These are raw cashew nuts. Um, please don't use roasted. They're raw cashew nuts. And I have um, in my blender, I'm going to use a Vitamix. I have about three and a half cups of water. Now, in my book, I talk about, we'll just add that to that. That was a cup. In my book, I actually talk about um, your nut milks. And your nut milks, you can make your own nut milks. You don't, you don't, you don't have to... Um, uh, buy everything already processed. Making your own nut milk is so easy. It's simple. Raw cashew nuts, raw almonds, raw hemp seed, raw, raw, whatever nuts you like. I don't like peanuts, but if you like peanuts, you can use that. And of course, each nut that you use, each nut that you use brings, um, uh, different different medicinal benefits, different different vitamins, different minerals, different different all these things, different fats. It brings something different to the, to the table. 
So that being said, guys, um, I'm going to make some uh, cashew nut milk. That happens to be my favorite. And again, the ratio is one cup of nuts to two cups of cool spring water, tap water. I ain't feeling that so much. You can use distilled water if you want, but one, one, excuse me, one cup of nuts to two cups of water, three cups, four cups, depending on how thick you want your milk to be. So I've got my um, cashew nuts in. It's about three and a half cups of water. And to sweeten, to sweeten, I'm going to actually use medjool dates. And medjool dates, they come in a package like this. And I get mine from uh, Costco, Sam, Sam's Club has them because it actually works out, it's more cost effective. Now I'm going to use my, my dates, medjool dates as sweeteners. And I'm just going to put these in here. One of the things that it's really important to do and Mr. Cameraman, are you getting me this close up? Is to split the date open and remove, remove the stone, remove the seed, remove this because whatever blender you're using as, um, as uh, uh, I don't know, as, as strong as the Vitamix is, it will jack your blades up. So you make sure you remove it and if you have, um, and I've used, I think four, that was five medjool dates. If you have five medjool dates, you need to make sure that you see, which I do, because the rest of the seeds are over there, you see five, five seeds. Again, it will jack it up. So I've put the dates, the nuts and the water together, and I'm going to actually give them a quick blend. All right, I'm going to prepare them and give them a, a quick blend just to get things just to get things going yeah okay guys and I'm doing this real time because I actually want you to see how easy it is okay on the rest of my cutting board what I have is a pear. I bought a, um, a case of, of pears. These are, I think, I don't know, Bartlett pears or something. But I bought a case of pears. I have a carrot. I have some lime. I have um, a banana. If you don't have a pear, you can use apple. You can use any, any fruit that you want. But today I'm using pear. I'm also using some frozen strawberries and some frozen mangoes. And... As they say, I think I'm saying it right, the tour de force is da da da. Today I'm using spinach. Actually, all week we've been um, having smoothies. Actually, we have smoothies pretty much once a day. Um, and we've been really mixing it up and other, you know, mix your greens. As I say in the book, it's really important to mix your greens. So I'm gonna start building this smoothie, guys. And what I'm gonna do is take the lid off of the Vitamix. Off of the carrot, I'm going to put my carrot, uh, my carrots in, and then I'm going to put in. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Now, in in my book, I actually give measurements and that, but when I'm doing this on the fly like this, you know, and make sure the that stone doesn't go in there and or down your disposal. Um, so we're going to put that in. That's some frozen mangoes, frozen strawberries. I actually took out too many fro frozen strawberries, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to put in the banana. And guys, it's really important to always make sure that you wash your fruit. Wash your fruit so you don't have to go through the traumas of um, having to wash your, your hands every time you touch something. All right, so that's that. I'm out of camera. Right. I'm going to put in my pear. And one of the things about pears, pears are such delicate fruit. I mean, they brew so easily. They're so sensitive. You know, they're like, like the sensitive fruit. They, 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 they brew so easily. So don't be put off by that. Um, they just bruise really easily. Um, because prior to... 
doing this uh, or when we were prepping and getting ready I looked at this and I sort of said to my hubby oh should we use this and he said well yeah that's how that's how basically that's how they roll so which is true pears are, pears are a very sensitive fruit so I'm just going to give it a hit of lime I like lime uh, sometimes for those of you who have watched any other videos that I may have done on this um, you get your organic lime you freeze it you get your organic lime you freeze it with the skin on or your organic lemon and you throw that in okay guys so let us that over there alrighty here we go smoothie time again I wanted you to see this in real time and just see how simple it is to get something delicious nutritious and filling and again it goes beyond just the nutritional nutritional um, benefits that you derive food has a spiritual connotation in your life it assists and supports you not only in keeping body and soul together but having the energy and the mental clarity and everything that you need to assist you when using the universal laws of attraction to get what you want so we're just going to blend up Okay guys, and it's as simple as that. Green smoothie done. Delicious, oops, delicious and nutritious. Delicious and nutritious guys, a green smoothie is done. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, are you able to get a good, am I, I'm at the right level? Can you get that? Is that a yes? He's silent, he's shaking his head. Okay, so green smoothie is done. So guys, a couple of other things. Uh, this actually is in the book. Your green smoothies actually need to be in um, mason jars and or the stainless steel uh, water bottles and or glass. It works so much better if it's in glass versus plastic. You can actually um, make your green smoothies a day in advance in the book I say up to three days because by the third day it truly starts losing much of its energy much of its healing properties etc etc and really just turns to a good source of fiber so mate you can make them a day a day in advance and that's something that I do you know if I know that I'm gonna be busy and I want a green smoothie um, for lunch uh, the next day or whatever I'm going to do with my green smoothie, I make it, or now yours truly husband makes them, which is like, woohoo, you know, um, my hubby makes them, and we'll make them for the next day. So that's okay, it really is per permissible. Also, you can actually freeze everything. Everything that you saw me put into the green smoothie, you can put it in a bag, freeze it, and take it out with the, excuse me, with the exception of the fluid i.e. you can make your um, your nut milk in advance however um, don't freeze that 
don't freeze that. You can make it in advance, keep it in the fridge. Nut milks will stay in the fridge for anywhere from three to, to, to five days, depending on what, what the milk is. And of course, your, free, your refrigerator. So you can, you, you can actually freeze all the vegetables and all the fruit. Everything that you're gonna use, you can freeze. So all you have to do is get your nut milk together and or water, if you don't like nuts, you can use water. You can use coconut water. Um, you can use uh, regular water. You put it into your Vitamix, put the stuff in, let it blend and let it go. You're done. Easy peasy, easy. So um, we are going to pour this into the mason jar. You know, the one thing, I hope the Vitamix people are listening to me because one of the things with the, this particular uh, carif or jug or whatever you want to call it, they changed the spout. And in changing the spout, it doesn't pour as easily as um, the old, the taller one, the taller version. Because this one's designed to fit underneath the, um, the shelf on your countertop. Okay, so we have our green smoothie. Okay, and the other thing I would say to you guys is if you are storing this, if you are going to store it, and I'll do that with this one. If you're going to store it, fill it to capacity. Fill it to capacity, and what that will do for you, it will prevent oxidation. And when oxidation takes place, and I feel that just a little bit too much, when oxidation takes place, you lose some of the vitamins, you lose some of the minerals, um, you lose some of the vital life force um, that's, you know, in your smoothie. Right, the other thing that you, you may want to use is um, press and steel or what's the other one, cling film, something like that. This too also helps to seal. It also, if you are drinking it, keeps anything that's flying around out of your smoothie. So you just, that's all you need to do. Little press and seal. This one's really, really full, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Press and seal. See, that was a bit full, but I'm gonna put the lid on and that should help. And this you would just store in the fridge. Store in the fridge, take it with a, take it um, and put it in a cooler if you're traveling put it in a cooler and, and it will be fine. So that is our green smoothie. Simple, nutritious, delicious. And again, I'm the author of Green is for Life, a simple guide to healthy, life-giving green smoothies. And for those of you who don't know my story, it's definitely in the book. It really changed my life. It really changed my life. I was being told that I would be on steroids and creams and this for the rest of my life, etc., etc., And I decided that that was totally and utterly unacceptable to me. And I found another way to treat myself and to heal myself. So guys, with that being said, we've got to see what this tastes like. And even if it tastes bad, you know I wouldn't tell you guys that, right? <laughs> But it doesn't. It tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's creamy. It's cool. Um, it's just... Mm, it's just so good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. mm, Green smoothies. Guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Again, look out for what's coming. I'm sorry, y'all. It's really good. Mm. Look out for what's coming spring of 2018. We are going to be creating foods that are going to build upon and help sustain and help vitalize 
your chakra system, your energy system, your electromagnetic field, the whole you, because you're a frequency and food's a frequency and food is more than just something that keeps body and soul together. So guys, check out my book. It's on Amazon. Green is for life, a simple guide to creating healthy, giving life smoothies. From yours truly, Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Until next time, guys. Bon appetit. Come on. Let's eat. Peace.